Hi, I'm John McDermott, and today I'd like to show you how to encrypt or compress a file on a Windows system. Now, first we'll look at the file itself and its details. Right-click and look at Properties. This file is 169 kilobytes, here's the actual total, in size. That won't change no matter what we do to it. But the size on disk will, if we compress it, it will be smaller. And if we encrypt it, well, we'll just see. Now, here's the size on disk, and here it is for Alice. Let's look now at Alice Compressed. Notice it's 169 and 172, the same sizes as Alice. If we go to the Advanced button and click on Compress and apply it, we'll see that Alice compressed. Remember, she was larger before. Now she's down to 112K, from 173,000 bytes to 114 thousand bytes. Now, let's encrypt Alice. Right-click again, get the properties, advanced, and encrypt. We can't do both. Notice it says OR, and no matter how hard we try, we can't compress and encrypt. We have to choose. So here, we'll choose encrypt. We'll apply the encryption, and in this case, we'll choose to encrypt one file only. You'll notice now it's back down to rough or back up to roughly 172 kilobytes, about the same as it was before. And here, the compressed file, the name is in green. I mean, the encrypted file, the name is in green. And in the compressed file, the name is in blue. Now there's a lot more we can do with encryption on Windows. We can add other people's names so we can share the encrypted files with them. We can copy our encrypted files to a server and have them be encrypted and so forth. But one very important task is to be sure you enable a key or data recovery agent so the file can be accessed separately, if necessary. Now. I hope this introduction has helped you with encrypting or compressing your Windows files. In the future, we'll talk more about Windows file encryption.